Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? Like <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh. I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board, Pritchard may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. The truth is, I've had a lot of other things on my mind. I'm trying to secure a future here for all of mankind. I can't let trivial security concerns get in the way when people like Bill Tagger want to see me fail. No, you're my best warrior, Adam. And I, and I trust you. I know the loyalty you've shown me will only continue as we take this fight into the future. Because that's what's really important, isn't it? The future. Whoa, don't get me wrong, boss. I'm not questioning your leadership. I'm just concerned that the data you streamed might have been compromised, accessed by the hacker who attacked us. If so, how do you suggest I handle it? I see. I guess I hadn't considered that. But I still don't know that you need to. Your concerns about the data being compromised won't really be an issue as long as we stay strong and work together as a team. That's all I've ever tried to do here. Find the best, most qualified people I can and bring them all together so they can complement each other. Now, Megan understood that. That's why she suggested I hire you in the first place. To help this little family of ours survive. With all due respect, sir, I am trying to do my job. The job you hired me to do. The job you even brought me back in for tonight. But it feels like you're getting in the way. Especially when you start bringing Megan into this. Ah, gee, calm down, Adam. There's no need to get defensive here. Doesn't do anyone any good. Seriously, the data I streamed is not going to hurt anyone. It was just some routine background information I needed to get familiar with after a discussion I'd had with Megan one night. It's the kind of stuff I look at all the time, and if someone did get a hold of it, they wouldn't know what to do with it. I'm telling you, we're fine. Trust me. Boss, six months ago, mercenaries knew stuff about this company that I didn't and used it to get past my security measures. I don't really care what kind of secrets you and Megan were keeping back then. I just want to make sure they don't endanger us again. What exactly are you implying, son? That I would endanger my own staff to cover my indiscretions? 
I've been willing to give you a bit of leeway here, considering everything you've been through these past months, but let's not forget why it is you're even alive. Honestly. Are we done here? Because we still have to discuss our next move. 